There are plenty of easy ways to get guaranteed legendaries in Outriders, including farms you can do over and over again. So in this video I want to share an amazing expedition farm to more easily get to higher tiers, so you also have a higher chance to get legendaries. And I will also go over farms in other sections of the game. And in the video bar you can see the different topics, so you can easily navigate the video if you're looking for something specific. Of course, a like on the video would really help me out. And let's go. Let's start with those expeditions because we haven't covered them here on the channel yet but this of course the end game activity in Outriders that opens up after finishing the main story. From the new hub area or other camps in the game you can check the different missions that are available. There are 14 in total but you can just do one to increase your challenge tier and that is also the smartest way to do it. So the challenge tiers are basically a separate progression next to the world tiers. The world tier is still very important and I will touch on that a little later as well but this image from Fubite is a great illustration of how it works. Here we see that the highest drops you can get on the world tiers is for level 42 while on the challenge tiers during the expeditions we can go all the way up to 50 when playing on challenge tier 15. So in the end you want to focus on the expeditions for the best loot although the main game farms for legendaries that I again want to go over in a second will really help help you during those expeditions. And the thing is that even on low tier expeditions you already have a pretty decent chance to get legendaries. Like it's not that high but if you get one for a 15 minute or so run then that's pretty great. And even if you don't have a legendary, you will still always get epic items and other loot based on your performance. So these runs are great no matter what, but in the end you of course want to get to higher ranks for more chance to get legendaries and higher level loot. And there's a tactic right now for that and big shout out to Moxie for highlighting this on his channel and a link to that channel is in the video description. He also has some crazy trickster builds, so totally check him out for more Outriders content if you you want. He namely figured out that in the camp plant expedition you can skip a big group of enemies so more easily clear the expedition on the gold tier because you're saving a ton of time. We'll highlight the skip in a moment but because of this tactic it's smart to focus on the camp plant expedition to rank up the challenge tiers and get higher level loot so you then have an easier time in the other expeditions. And sure only a handful of expeditions show up at the time but what you can do is just enter one and then leave it immediately and then look at the map again and you will see that other locations have shown up. And sometimes you have to do this tactic a couple of times before the camp plan shows up again but just repeat and then you will be able to repeat this expedition. So for this mission you start outside and have to clear a lot of enemies and then make your way inside. Here a ton of enemies will spawn as well and it's really a hard part especially solo but like every expedition is really hard solo so if you can it's totally smart to join up with other players. And I know there are some connectivity issues right now. What worked for us if just one player already entered the expedition without starting it and if then the other player joins then we could just run the expedition because we mostly got disconnected when trying to go to the expedition from the hub area. So after clearing this first indoor room you have to go downstairs into another area and this is really the hardest part of the mission. After you cleared all of them though you have to call an elevator and then a new group of enemies will spawn. But the elevator is actually here way before you clear all the enemies. So if you just wait at the door and clear incoming targets then after like 30 seconds you will hear a sound and can turn around and just walk inside. The door will close and then you skip all these targets. I think it's intended because you are basically calling an elevator and waiting for it to arrive but this totally makes the expedition way faster. Then in the final room you still have to clear some enemies that spawn from multiple sides and after you're done with that you can claim the loot. And again even on low tiers you can already get legendaries here if you are lucky. Again you will always get a ton of epics though and if you do enough of these expeditions you can also buy legendaries at the special fender for the drop pot resources. These legendaries start at level 45 but as you increase your challenge tier the levels will actually increase in the shop as well just like the prices. 
So keep that in mind. But you'll of course also get more resources from higher tier expeditions. But yeah, for fast legendaries, climbing the ranks while farming the camp plant is great. And what really helped me during those expeditions were the legendaries and other loot I already collected in the main game. And the big one being the high level guaranteed legendaries from the world tier rewards. From world tier 12 and up you can claim a legendary once you reach that level and they appear in your inventory based on the item level that you find while playing on that world tier. Like the Inverno seeds that I got from one of these world tier rewards is helping me clean house during a ton of the content including the expeditions and the world tier farms as well. I made an updated video with the best world tier farms in my experience and I will link to that at the end of this one. So yeah, overall I totally recommend that you rank up your world tier so you get these amazing guaranteed high level legendary guns and it will also increase the level of the drops you find during other main game content. Like there's a chest in the canyon of the Grand Obelisk region over here which you can get after completing the game and it always drops a legendary weapon on your current world tier. You can by the way also join a friend who is already a high world tier because the legendary will drop based on the world tier from the host. So totally join your friend who has the highest world tier so you will get the weapon on that level as well. You can only get the reward from the chest once though so joining someone else who hasn't opened the chest yet won't give you a second legendary. So to open the chest we need to interact with three pillars and one is already close to the camp in the canyon of the Grand Obelisk. Then you have to kill a lot of enemies and go up the stairs here. Inside this mountain you will find another pillar, there's a chest as well, so totally grab that too. So then after interacting with this pillar we want to head back to the fast travel point. I will speed it up a bit so you can see where that point is. And once you get to the flag, you want to travel to the wrecked APC. You don't want to go upstairs, like we actually have to go there later on. No, head this way. More enemies will spawn that you have to kill, and they can open a door and get into this huge room. On the other side is another pillar, and after interacting with that, you actually get a brand new mission. It's likely when you like hit the third pillar. If you track the mission and just follow it, then you will return to the festival point and now actually do go up and you see a door which you can now open. Here you find the chest with a guaranteed legendary weapon that again drops on your current world tier. So the higher the better. But yeah, the chest is a one time thing. There's also a tactic you can do over and over again for a guaranteed legendary that will take a long time, although you can speed it up. And then I'm talking about the monster hunts and the targets and shout out to Osterberg for finding this tactic. A link to his channel is also in the video description. So there are 10 of these monster hunts that you see with a paw icon in the different regions. So you can only do this after like being close to finishing the game but overall just finish the main story before you go do these farms. After killing one of the monsters you have to bring a trophy back to Noah in Trenchtown and he gives you an epic per trophy. But if you complete them all, you also get a legendary at the end. The first time you turn in these trophies, you can choose the epic. But after then resetting all these missions and completing them again, you get a random item. And the legendary is always random, but it's an armor piece for the monster hunts and a weapon for the wanted targets. It took us around the 37 minutes to complete all the targets. So 37 for all the monster hunts and also 37 for all the wanted targets. And this is on PS5 by the way, so with the faster load times, it will likely take a bit longer on the older consoles. But the nice part is that you can speed it up significantly by doing 9 out of the 10 battles on World Tier 1. And on World Tier 1, you can of course clear everything super fast. But as long as you complete the final target on your highest World Tier and keep it at that World Tier and then turn in all the trophies or targets at once, you will get all the rewards, including the legendary, on the item level of that highest world tier. Like it's really sick. So you only have to defeat one of the 10 targets on the highest world tier. And we found that for the monster hunts the Typhon in the canyon is pretty easy. But I know some people really think that Cold Claw is easy. Or the Queen is quite easy too in the wreckage zone. 
Like, that would be my personal pick, actually. For the wanted targets, the first one in Rift Town is the easiest one to do. So, I would, like, clear that on the highest world tier and do all the other ones on the first world tier. And then you get the legendary and all the epics on the highest possible level. And again, having a higher world tier for this is once again super smart. And from this farm, especially the monster hunts, you get a ton of epics. Because every monster drops 2 epics after you kill them, so that's already 20. On top of the 10 you get for each trophy. Like you will be getting a ton of new perks if you still need them. And can then dismantle them or sell these items. Which also makes this farm really great. Subscribe of course for way more Outriders content if you haven't already. If you found other cool farms or other things. Totally let me know in the comments down below. And I will shout you out in the next video. A like on this video would of course really help me out. And you can watch that world tier farm video by clicking on the screen. Link to other Outriders videos are also in the pinned comments. And for now I will speak to you next time. And goodbye.